Hi, this is Matt Caton with the Brain Technologies, and today I'd like to speak with you about some of the basics in creating, linking, and deleting thoughts in personal brain. Thoughts can have many different types of relationships. The active thought can have child thoughts, or subcategories of the active thought. It can have a parent thought. In other words, the active thought is a subcategory of the parent thought. It can also have siblings. A sibling shares one or more of the same parent thoughts as the active thought. And finally, it can have a jump thought. A jump thought is where you can really break away from any type of hierarchical structure and still be able to show thoughts that are related to the active thought. Here's another great example of how thought relationships work. The active thought is my remedy application. My child thoughts are all my documents supporting this particular application. Above are my parent thoughts. In other words, Remedy is a CRM app, as well as being one of the applications running on my Remedy DB database. To the right are my sibling thoughts. In other words, other CRM apps. And over on the left are my jump thoughts. Remedy is being utilized by the IT Support Center, and the manager for this particular application is Tanya. Creating thoughts is very simple, and there are several different ways to do it. Let's go ahead and create a new child thought off of eSolutions Consulting. I like to click and drag from the child thought gate to create my new thought. In addition, I can also click and drag off of the jump gate to create a new jump thought. Or off the parent gate to create a new parent thought. If I've made a mistake or I feel I need to change the relationship that two particular thoughts have, I can always just click and drag it to a new location around the active thought. I don't want eSolutions Consulting, my company, to be falling under a subcategory of competitors. Let's take a look at what competitors looks like as a child thought. Then it just simply blends in with my other departments. I think I want this as a jump thought. I'll just click and drag to the jump thought area. And that seems to work nicely for me. Let's also take a look at how we can link to existing thoughts already in a current personal brain. One of the members of my web team is Millie Brown. I don't see Millie Brown anywhere in the active plex, but I know there's a thought for her here. If I click and drag off the child gate and simply start typing her name, the brain will show me all thoughts that match my current typed in entry. There's Millie. Now you can see I've very easily linked these two distant thoughts to one another. I can also use my past thought list to search for thoughts I've recently visited that I might want to link back to web team. Here's Bill Tampkin, our IT director. He's a prominent member of our new web team. I'd like to link him to web team as well. I'll just draw a line directly from web team right down to Bill. And they're instantly linked. The thoughts under Web Team are starting to become a little bit cluttered for my taste. I'd like to create a sub-thought called Documents, where all documentation regarding the Web Team will be linked. I'm going to create a new thought called Documentation. I'll simply click on documentation and all of my web documents will be moved as child thoughts of this particular thought. I've quickly and easily created a new subcategory under web team called documentation and was able to clean up that particular area of my brain. 
From time to time, it's also necessary to unlink thoughts. Let's say Millie is no longer a member of the web team and has moved on to another department. I'm simply going to click on the link between web team and Millie and select unlink. This doesn't delete the thought. In fact, I can still see Millie in my past thought list. There she is, still in the brain, but simply no longer connected back to my web team. We also have the option to delete thoughts in the brain. Let's say some of this documentation is now outdated, and I'd like to simply remove it from the brain file. I'm going to right-click on the thought and select Forget. Forgetting a thought is the equivalent to throwing a thought into the recycle bin. I can still see all of my forgotten thoughts by going up to Options and clicking on Show Forgotten Thoughts. As you can see, the thought is still in the Plex. It's simply not being visualized when the Forgotten Thought box is not open. From within the Forgotten Thought box, I can select items and choose to remember or reactivate them or permanently delete them. Deleting the thought will prompt me with a warning message. And now the thought and its attachment has been permanently removed from personal brain. And I'd like to show you one shortcut for deleting thoughts that you may wish to utilize from time to time. If you'd like to bypass the forgotten thought list and permanently delete a thought, you can simply hold down the Shift key. I'm going to click on Shift right-click on Competitors, and now you see I have the option to directly delete this particular thought. Again, there's a confirmation message. I say OK, and the thought has been permanently deleted from Personal Brain. I hope you've enjoyed this web tutorial on creating, linking, and deleting thoughts. For more information on Personal Brain, visit www.thebrain.com. Enjoy using your personal brain.